Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Nail Re Reserve Ambrosia STZ653 Water Slide Decals and Grave Watercolors. I have gotten started with some Betty Cora Short Almond Nail Tips. I'm using Model 1's Base Coat today. We're just going to slap a layer of this on real quick. You know, I know this is not the exciting part, but I wanted to kind of show me doing it. <laughs> Just a, you know, quickie. And by doing them on these tips, I'm able to do the brush backwards and all around and all the good stuff. All right, we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. Here we go with Ambrosia from Nail Reserve. And this is just like a creamy off-white. It's got kind of maybe a little bit of a peachy tint to it. You know, I'm not really good at describing the different shades of colors, but to me, that's the vibe I'm getting from it. And we're just swishing, swishing, trying to get an even coat. And the first coat's not going to be a one coat deal. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to be. Cure that for 60 seconds. We're going to go at it one more time. Well, maybe two more times. We'll see. Uh, you know, in these light colors, for me, I try to go thin. Um, at points, I do, like, rub off extra polish off of my brush and go back over the nail because I really do like thinner coats. I don't get wrinkling when it goes in the lamp for 60 seconds. And we are going to do a third coat. If I was new in like a full nail design and was going to cover most of this up, then I might would have been okay with two. But I am doing some decals, some water slide decals, and I'm going to fill them in with color. So I really kind of wanted a pretty good opaque base color down on these nails. I will show you these on my fingertips at the end of the video. And I have to tell you, I was really impressed with this. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever done, the, well, I know I've never done it with watercolors. I have done something similar with, um, oh, curing for 60, and now we're going to top coat it with the matte top coat from Model 1s. Um, yeah, so I've done this, but I've only used like jelly polishes to do something like this before, so this is definitely going to be my first time with watercolors. Going to cure that for another 60. And here are those STZ 653 water slide decals. I'm just going to cut out four of them that strike my fancy. And um, we'll get those on the nails. It won't take but just a moment. This is the faster end of the process. I've got four little uh, Maniology Cube stampers out and we'll be using them. I probably could have just done them one at a time and just done one stamper, but you know, I gotta be all extra. It's, it's just how I do it sometimes. <laughs> Those little tabs get stuck to my little mat down there. They're hard to pick up, especially because I have like no fingernails, no natural fingernails going on right now. We're still in recovery mode. I have to get my scissors out here to help scoop that up. Lord B, that's just a mess. All right, so you can do this with just a dab of water. I'm just using my little drippy drop dropper um, just because it was handy. Um, you don't have to have that. You can just take a little water on your fingertip and dab, dab, dab. Um, whatever works for you. And it's not going to take long for these to loosen up. I mean, not long at all. By the time you get them all covered, the first one's pretty much ready. Slide that paper off of them. Yep. Get that last one. And I do take a paper towel. You can use a lint-free cloth, whatever. And just dab any excess water up off of these. And I love these. These are like little origami, origami animals. And I thought they would be really cute. So we're going to apply these straight. To, well, I say that like it's easy. Because um, my nail is dry with a matte top coat. And I did dry those decals out. So I'm just using my finger to smooth it down. 
But I'm going to apply these all to the nails. And we're going to do some more playing after we get them there. I love this little dog one. It's so cute. So we got a flamingo, a dog, a fox. And I can't remember what the other one was. But just get them on there. Smooth them down. Make sure they're all nice and flat. I think I did two flamingos. That's where that's where I'm confused. Yeah, I did two flamingos. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to top these with the Anchor and Heart Sea Glass Fairy Slipper. It is a matte top coat. I just kind of wanted to seal the decals down to the nail really well. I've kind of messed that one up a little bit, but it, it's going to be okay. I'm going to let them totally dry. Here is my grabby watercolors. They came in a little tin. I just kind of showed you a shot of what the box looked like and then the whole kit and caboodle. But I've got some water on my brush and I'm collecting a little bit of that pink. And I'm going to go through all of these decals and get the pink filled in on them. On all the ones that need pink. You know, in, in their respective spots. So I'm going to use about four four colors maybe today. And I'm going to try to use all of the colors on all of them so they kind of all go together. And uh, we're just getting with it. So I'm using my little teeny detail brush from Maniology. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Going to dial it in a little bit. And I did get quite a bit of polish, a polish paint on these brushes. So they are fairly opaque. But if you're doing this and you find that they're looking a little sheer to you, just let them dry and go back over them again with more color. It will build up. And they will, they will do just fine. Now, I did not invent this technique. I am a total copycat. Just like you, I learn things from others on YouTube. And uh, when I can, I give credit to those that, you know, that I learned it from or saw it for the first time. And I do believe the first time I saw this was um, Suzanne doing it. And I'll try to remember to leave a link for her channel down below. She does a lot of really cool techniques and nail designs. She puts a lot of thought into it. Me, I'm a little more haphazard. It's just what strikes my fancy, what I'm feeling like. And as you can see, I've moved on to a purple polish. It's kind of light, so it almost looks like another pink. I'm trying to get out of frame here. Hopefully, I can get it together. Barely in frame, but at least I'm there. Yay. <laughs> that cute little fox is just adorable. And the flamingos. Are you kidding? They're just stinking cute. Now, I've moved on to the yellow. Get a little yellow on all of them. And yep, normally that's how I say it. I normally say yellow because I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> I know how it's pronounced. It's yellow, but I've always said yellow. <laughs> oh, filling these in is just so therapeutic. I really enjoyed this. The process of making these, I really liked it. So I want to thank Su Suzanne for you know, keep doing things like this on her channel so that eventually it kind of stuck and I remembered and I was like, oh yeah, I want to do that. So I got me some watercolors and I'm going at it like a crazy woman, just going at it. And I love this little dog. It was like, my, I think out of all of them, this, this one or the fox was my favorite image. And I was really happy with how they fit on these nails, these little almond tips that I did. Not too big, not too little. It wasn't like they were totally taking up the whole nail. I felt like this was kind of, as far as size ratios, I think this worked out pretty good. Okay, now on this one, I'm going in with the fox with the teal color, or the blue. And it kind of covers up <clears throat> his little eyes. So, I'm going to fix those after I get done and this blue dries down. I will go back in and um, add those back in. Just set it to the side. Let it dry pretty good. 
Not a big deal. And then back to the little dog. I'm having to go back to the paint because the dog had more slots. More different, you know, sections to color. And go back to the purple. And I know a lot of people find nail art like this very tedious. And on my own natural nails, if I was doing this, it probably would feel more tedious. But since they were decal, uh, not decals, going on nail tips. Oh, and I mess it up. Watch. Oh, he's okay, though. He's still cute. I can still tell it's a fox. But yeah, doing it on tips was easy. It made it much more um, relaxing because I could just like walk away and let them dry and then come back and work on them. I'm going over them with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat first and then my Elena's Quick Dry Top Coat. And there she is. I'm going to use these little glue tabs to apply these to my fingertips, to my nails. And we're just going to use our little booty tool, our little goat hoof, our horse hoof looking tool here. And smush it down and grab it with the tweezers and pull that little plastic tab off so that we're sticky. All right, here we go. We're about there. Gonna apply that. And if you want these to wear long, you do need to do some serious mush, mush, mushing. There is my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.